Hello, and welcome back to Game Domain. I'm the newest member of the Game Domain team, and the beautiful voice of your video, Kerberos. I'm excited to talk to you guys about Nintendo, E3, and whatever it's popular to hate right now. It's still popular to hate EA, right? We hate EA, right? Yeah, we still hate EA. So, well, E3 was packed with a ton of new updates and games from many different game studios and developers, there was one major gaming company that had sort of a lackluster E3 presentation. Now, the presentation was filled with content, but there was really only one big surprise, which was Super Mario Party for the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, Nintendo's E3 presentation had many games announced and showcased, but really nothing big and grand, except the title we'll be discussing in this video. That is none other than the game that has so much hype, I had to read the script twice, and it took up 25 minutes of Nintendo's 45-minute E3 Direct. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For months, fans only had a glimpse of Super Smash Bros. for the Switch, but now we finally have a title, and basically all the game footage we need. But after the showcase and reveal of every single character ever in the series, and even some new stages, there was something that, to us, was missing. And that is what we're going to talk about in this video. At the end of the Direct, we were told about one more surprise. The sight of Samus, Mario, and Mega Man lurking along the platform made all of us fans jump. This reveal ended up being the reveal of Ridley coming into the Smash series, but many people thought otherwise as they saw those three walk across. This would have been a perfect time to reveal Subspace Emissary 2, which would be the sequel to the fun story mode we saw in Super Smash Bros. Brawl on the Wii. Subspace Emissary was not perfect, but it sure was a fun way to introduce us to the greatest crossover ever in a whole new way. We saw different fighters battle it out right next to each other, working together to find new friends and defeat many foes along the way. With the confirmed inclusion of every single Smash character ever, it would be a great way to unlock all of them. The players also rumored to have to start with just the original fighters from the original Smash Brothers, and supposedly you have to unlock all the other fighters through different challenges. This does sound like it could be hinting at a story mode, and this most certainly would be Subspace Emissary 2, or at least a different take on it. Although we know little right now about the inclusion of a story mode, we know for sure that fans would love to see the revamped version of the old story we loved so much. So what do you guys think about the upcoming Super Smash Bros. Ultimate game? Did you enjoy Nintendo's E3 presentation? And if so, what were your favorite parts? Do you want Nintendo to include Subspace Emissary 2 into the game? Tell us in the comments below, and don't forget to check out some of the links in the description to our Discord, second channel, and recent videos. See you next time, and thanks for watching Game Domain.